Tom. How you doing, Jared? Good. You know, we've got, we've got all the solar panels on top of the buildings. We've got one on every single south-facing building. There goes Tommy's big wheel. Look at that. It's being, it's being powered right there by a solar power. <laughs> I can't see anything anymore. The reflection is just too bright. Yeah, you'll get used to that. That happens. But think about how much of the environment you're saving. Yeah. All the carbon reduction. Who needs to see? That, uh, you're thinking in a short-sighted, myopic way. <laughs> but we don't have winter anymore. The sun hits the, the, the mirrors and it hits the snow and it melts. And, and it's great. I don't have to use any salt. I just have to wait until noon. Excuse me, I had beans. <laughs> Yeah, show it to me. <laughs> it's a piece of coal. Where did you get it? A silent auction. <laughs> I heard about these. I heard back in 2014, people used this. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crush this thing in my... Okay. Yes, I'm going to make a diamond. <laughs> Wait, that's where diamonds come from? Can you believe that? They don't? <laughs> the books aren't any good anymore. <laughs> Change. It sure is. I you, you wrote it last night. <laughs> you double checked all your facts? I went on Wikipedia. All yeah. right. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Sure. Are you sure about those facts? Well, yeah, Wikipedia never lies. <laughs> well, can we present this to the public and say, these are facts? Does two and two equal four? Um, it has... You don't just... seem very sure of your report, Dr. Robinson. Gosh, you're getting inside my head. Stop it. <laughs> just because it's cold outside, does that mean there's global warming? Just because the seas are rising, does that mean we should be afraid? You're a Republican. I am. <laughs> I've heard about you people. Mm -hmm. There aren't many of them in academia, but I met one once. He was a TA and he got a D. Are you sure about that? God! You people are sneaky. I'm trained to see both sides and to keep a blind eye and not have confirmation bias. Are you sure about that? Ah! You know what? I stand by this report. Pretty much. 
Let Put me ask away. you something. Put it away. Let me ask you something. What's that? What would it take for you to lose this little report here? And I don't want you to recycle it. <laughs> I don't want you to give it to kids to make a paper mache balloon boat or anything. I want you to go outside and burn that on top of a piece of coal. <laughs> I'll do it if I can have summers off and another TA. <laughs> <Deal>. <laughs> You must leave, but I am wind, and I will be the wind beneath your wings. <laughs> I imagine it will be lonely in my shadow. You've always been a pain in the ass, sorry. But now it's time for you to go far away. Give another ch one a chance. I stumbled. Why is everybody picking on me? Don't you remember? I helped you during the last century. The locomotive, the power plant, and all the others too. I helped everyone out there, even you and you and you and you. <laughs> You've had your chance, and we're so grateful. But we want to be able to breathe and drink and eat and see the top of a mountain where an eagle can land. And if you stick around, you're going to bring us down. And Bette Midler will have to sing another song, and that's not good. I'm going to go. I don't need the likes of you. I don't have a song, but that's okay. I could introduce you, perhaps, to fracking, or oil, or something else that's bad for us, like saccharin. We found that out, too. If you want to sing, I can tell. <laughs> Go ahead, Cole. I'll hold your hands. <laughs> Dirty as they are. Winter does a foot of dirt to question. <laughs> solid ground and not worry about how much carbon is sequestered within it. <laughs> I'm no longer 
longer gay. Um, <laughs> something horrible has happened. Tell me. I went into the bathroom to plug in my electric toothbrush, and we are out of plugs! What? Yes! Can you believe it? Something has to go, and I don't know what it could possibly be. We've made a list for this occasion. <laughs> you used paper. I did. I thought, how retro of me. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. What? You're not going to like it. Go ahead. I haven't brushed my teeth in weeks. <laughs> the first thing to go is the refrigerator. <laughs> but what about the rabbit meat? It'll go bad. <laughs> The second thing to go is the microwave. No! Yes. I'm not gonna roast. I don't know how to tell you about the first thing. Go on, do it. Rip off the Band-Aid. The third thing is our heated blanket. <laughs> we could snuggle and become the spark. <laughs> Mr. Santa Claus, it's a, it's a real honor to, to have you here today. Please take a seat. My name is, is Tom Carson, and, and I work with the Coca-Cola Company. And yes. we, we, we've been facing a problem, and I've been asked to come to you for it, because Coca-Cola has become the face of Christmas. So well, <laughs> you've done wonderful work, wonderful work. Thank More you. than I could have done. Well, here's what's happening. We found out that, that the North Pole, yeah. where, where you live, um, is actually warming up and people are getting really nervous about that. We're getting we're getting letters from five-year-old girls and eight-year-old boys saying, what's gonna happen to Santa? What's gonna happen to Rudolph? I, I've taken care of this. I, I, I no longer give coal. I give clean coal. <laughs> Changed everything. It's good for the environment. <laughs> well, most of North Minnesota is very happy about that. But what we're, what, what we're thinking is, we want you to move away from the North Pole. So instead of fixing it, let's just move you out and let's say, let's say Santa lives in Blaine now because Blaine is colder than the North Pole. <laughs> and people just like to say, Blaine. <laughs> I don't know. I've been in the North Pole for thousands of years. That's where people know me. My workshop, my elves. Most of them are floating right now with the polar bears. <laughs> Blaine it is. Blaine. Thank you very much. Well, here we are in Blaine. Here we are in Blaine. <laughs> we got a sports complex. There's a new Walmart. Yes. The reindeer are having lots of fun with their games. <laughs> Chasing that rabbit. Yes, he is. <laughs> that joke just doesn't stop me all the time. <laughs> I think it's time that we internalize our externalities. Yeah. In front of all these people. Mon beau Pierre, I did not know you were so adventurous. We, oui. Marie Claude. That's what I like about the French. They go nuclear right away. Oh. We let us ride upon our bicycles with the baguettes in the front. Sure. Come on, Pierre. It is green. We will not cause these the problems of the carvings in the air. I lost my accent somewhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> You sound like you're from Moscow. <laughs> <laughs>